What's going on everyone? In today's video, I want to show you something super cool and that's the ability to remove anything from your videos. You can actually remove it using Photoshop and you guys can get these overlays by the way from my website kingtouchpro.com. All right, so first things first, open up Photoshop and import your video into it. So this is really cool. So if you click and hold on this little bandaid icon, it should look like this. You can also press J on the keyboard for the shortcut. It will first bring up the spot healing brush tool, but we don't want to use that one. We actually want to use the removal tool. This is the new tool that Photoshop implemented. And then at the very beginning of your clip, highlight or click and drag over the area that you want to have removed. So in this case, I want to remove this smiley tattoo from her arm. Make sure though that you drag over the entire selection, including the edges. So it will look like this and it's gone. If you don't go over the edge, let me show you really quickly. So if you go over it, like, like kind of like this, just a little bit, Okay, I'm doing this on purpose, by the way. You're going to have a big blob like that. Or maybe you go pretty quick here, but you missed a couple of the edges. It's going to look like this. So you have to go over the entire selection to get rid of it. So you just go over the areas that you want to have removed. So something like that. Maybe I want to remove this tattoo. So for this, you would just have to go frame by frame, by the way, and remove it like that. Items where it's bit more complicated go frame by frame on those you don't want to go over like past the edge to remove this uh like this tattoo because then you're going to have a really weird edge on her arm so for that to work you just go over it but don't go past the like that edge of her arm if that makes sense so i would just probably go with something like this close to it but not over it okay so something like that and it's gone um again here i'm just gonna go past it here just like that and it's gone so you're gonna do that for every single frame. So you're gonna press the right arrow key to go frame by frame. And if you don't have that option, just click on this little line layered button and make sure enable timeline shortcut keys is checked. If you don't have this, you won't be able to use the, the right arrow keys to cycle through the frames. This is very important because it makes it so much easy to compare the results. So just so you guys can get the idea, I did this for every single tattoo on her arm. And another cool little tip for you, if you don't wanna have to go like a brush over it and do stuff like that, there's a faster way if you have enough area to work with. If you make the brush size bigger than the actual area that you wanna remove, you can actually just click once and then use the right arrow key and this will save you way more time. So you can do stuff like that, okay? But over here, this is where you're gonna have to do it manually because you cannot use a brush that's bigger and then using that because <laughs> that's what's going to happen. And then once you're finished, what you're gonna do is click this button over here, the render video button. You can also go back here to the layered icon and click, and click on render video. Uh, I'm just gonna click on this one because it's quicker. Give it a name, okay? Make sure you have it saved to your desktop or, or wherever you're gonna be able to find it again. You can also create a subfolder, but we're just leave everything how it is and change the, make sure that this is not Photoshop image sequence because then it will just save it as an image. So make sure Adobe Media Encoder is selected. And then we just import that clip that we saved Photoshop back into Final Cut Pro and I'll show you guys what to do from there. All right guys, so here's the clip that I just showed you in the beginning of the video with the color grading applied. So here's a before and after. I just made some changes. I used my Brent Fias look. It's a color grading LUT that I have from my pack. Link in the description again, shameless plug, I know, but it's just really cool if you want that really cool kind of cinematic music video look. But anyways, this is the original clip here. So I'm gonna have that just disabled for this example. So I'm gonna open up this grouped clip. It's the same exact clip, but this is with her and the tattoos with nothing taken out. And then this is with our Photoshopped uh, using the removal tool. Now, of course, it's not gonna be perfect. There's gonna be some artifacts, but once you start layering effects and color grading, stuff like that, it's going to mask it even more. Again, before and after, <laughs> this is honestly amazing. So if I go back and I enable our effects, it even masks it a little bit more. So this is super cool. And the ability to just take things out after a video has been filmed is absolutely nuts to me. And then with the other effects applied, it just looks kind of complete, to be honest. So if you guys found this video helpful, please consider leaving a like. That'll be awesome. And share this video to any of your friends, video editing friends, and subscribe. And I'll catch you on my next video. Peace.